What's happening folks? I'm Mitch Smith and today we're going to be doing Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Uh, you might see I have my Reese's shirt on. We're doing this in a little bit of a celebration for Halloween in the upcoming week. Thought it'd be a nice little treat off the side. And um, you know I was looking this up online and I see a lot of guys online like Dave Salentano and uh, Dan Mum and those guys. And I mean they're they're phenomenal so my hats off to those guys but most of us even after years of practice can't really play at that level but uh, we want to play these songs so I want to do this in a way that's very accessible very doable there's some uh, hammer-ons and whatnot but we're just going to kind of condense it down into some things that you may already know like your harmonic minor scale or your uh, diminished scale nothing real crazy with two-handed tapping or anything like that one advanced thing we are using is a dad gad tuning and there's a reason for that because this is in D minor right so uh, we know we're going to be in the key of D minor and a dad gad tuning is just that D let's see, D A D G A D so the only note that you're hitting that's not part of a, 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 a D power chord is a G right here on the third, third string. So that makes it a D suspended 4. So all we've got to do is play 2nd fret there. And we've just got a huge D power chord because it's just root 5th, root 5th, root 5th. And uh, so consequently, the third string is the only one that's not been altered. So we can still come up to that seventh fret and get our... our root note there on the seventh fret, and we can do our scale linear from there. Now if we get into scale patterns, things are going to change because we've altered those two strings. Now, if you don't know how to do the dad gad tuning, don't worry. There's a link below the video that will take you to my Udemy course. And this is free. It's a free tuning course. So uh, you can go to it and it talks about drop D tuning, dad gad tuning, tuning down a whole step, open E tuning, all kind of stuff. And it's there for you for free if you just go to the link below the video to get to that. For now, just remember it's dad gad, D A D. G, A, D. So we've basically taken the first, second, and sixth string and dropped them a whole step. In a nutshell, that's really what has happened. So okay, that being said, let's find, let's identify all of our octaves, our D's. So we have an open D here. We have D on the fifth fret here. And let's look at that. The first. Let's say the first five notes of our minor scale from there. Okay, now let's uh, identify an octave above that. Uh, there. Now, if we do our scale from there, we're going to have to alter it. We're going to have to go... And it would already be altered anyway because of that, the way that the uh, second string tunes. So let's find it here instead. That'll be the 12th fret of the 4th string, which is normally D anyway. So we still have the box we're familiar with. No alternate kind of scale shape or anything. So an octave above that would normally be here. But since we've dropped that string a whole step, we have to bring that up a whole step. Hear that? So, again, since both of those strings are dropped a whole step, we can still do our box. Familiar with that, right? So the first notes of this are going to start on the fifth of the scale. Basically, just imagine a little power chord here. And here. And here. Okay? 
So we are up on 17 and 19. So I'm going to just bar 17 so that I can get that pulled off. Okay, or you can hit both strings together. Gives it a little bite. Now, what we've done there is we've come a half step below the root note, which would normally be the seventh of the scale. And the seventh of the natural minor is actually a whole step below the root or the octave. So this is just a half step, making this the uh, harmonic minor. And that's what gives it that classical uh, European kind of, uh, kind of sound there. So... Resolve it back to D. Now come down an octave to this D. It's kind of the same thing, but less notes. You see that? We went second, third, seventh, root. Now down to this octave, and it's the same thing that we did up here on this one. All those notes. And you can be sloppy with that. You know, you just get there as fast as you can, basically. You can even uh, hammer the fifth or hammer the, the seventh, like a like trill the fifth. So those are just some things you can add to it, just to give it a little style. Okay, so uh, then we're going to do a little diminished thing. Now normally there's a diminished chord that all the notes ring. I haven't, and all honesty, I just haven't took the time to figure that out in dad-gad tuning. So what we'll do instead is just a diminished scale. Okay, and, and most of us know this. Just... And normally we would come here... But those two strings are tuned lower, so we need to alter that. We're going to go... And just make sure that we land a half step below the root again. Because that's what's going to create the tension for us to resolve back to that one chord. Now, oddly enough, the first time he comes to that big chord, it's going to be suspended forward, and we'll, do, we'll get that at the 12th fret. It's like if you did a D this way, bum, open, hmm, but I'm not going to do that because that's going to sound terrible because... I actually don't sound terrible, but that's not what I'm looking for. Because we're tuned it different, right? So what we're going to do is come up to the 12th fret. And if this is our D root note, second, major third there, okay? Fourth, second, third. Okay? So it's kind of a, almost a happy resolve to all that minor, that harmonic minor. harmonic minor scale in a linear form. Like we've taken taken that and just kind of straightened it out and we're playing it all on one string. Five, seven, eight. That's 
that's easy enough, right? 10, 12, 13. Uh, okay, but we're not going to need to go that high. But that would be the equivalent to this. Okay, so what we're going to need for now is just these three notes coming from the half step below the root. Okay, and again, you just kind of put those in there fast. Okay, from there, take this same, the, that same half step, whole step thing, bring it up. We have the second, third, fourth of the scale. We have the seventh, one, uh, seventh root second. Now we have the second, third, fourth. Now we're going to go to the uh, fourth, and we're going to have fourth, fifth, minor sixth. We're going to end on the fifth. All right. So once you get that pattern down, and you can do that. Just bring it up a full octave. There. Now, if there's the D, we start a half step below it. Just going to descend that D minor scale from there and throw in some hints of the melodic minor and or the diminished. Okay, once we get there, we're going to run that diminished back up and back down. If you need an extra note, if you get there and you need another note, you can hit the A string open because that's our dominant chord. And that's going to resolve us back into that big D power chord. And this time, it's not going to be the major. It's just going to be straight up minor. And a good way to get to the minor on this tuning, see we have a D here, you can just play the minor third here, that's probably the easiest way, you can do that, now we have the really really cool part, this is where you're doing all those hammer-ons up the scale, and what I do is I'll just take put my pick between my fingers and just kind of mute the strings that I don't want and you can pick the string with this finger okay break this down rewind it as much as you need to okay we're gonna go Those are the notes in the pattern. Between every one of those is an open A. Okay. Again, just rewind this. Pause it, do whatever you need to do to get that pattern down. Because once you get that one, you've also got the next one. Since we're in dad gad tuning, we have another open A string that we can use. We're just going to do exactly what we did on this A string, on this A string. Again, we're going to kind of keep our strings quiet with this hand.
done. We're going to do some little heavy metal power chord kind of stuff here. Okay, or you can get your open D string. And then just straight sixteenths. And do it again. So after our uh Okay, yeah, no, I hit a wrong note, but that's okay. Um now, once we do that, we'll move the dominant chord. We're just going to kind of do that diminished uh, scale. And you can improv through this. I like to um, sequence it. And that brings me almost all the way to my top D. And you know, I can... out with that chord one last time. Now, uh, we haven't talked about climbing up in that uh, diminished scale, and you may or may not know this, but every note in the diminished scale, the true diminished scale, is a minor third away from the last note. So if you just go in every four frets, yeah, which that wasn't the one we're looking for, but that was a diminished scale. at your 12th fret that's the same as your open strings you can't get that wow with the open strings you just have to and that's just kind of lame compared to bow, right okay so I'm going to attempt to play the whole thing all the way through check this out probably as good as I'm going to be able to play it. 
so have fun with this this Halloween and and so on and if this is still too advanced for you you can look at my Udemy channel I've got beginner lessons you, you can even hit me up online for lessons and also I actually have a whole collection of creepy sounding uh, creations to teach you how to really use these diminished scales these harmonic minor scales creepy sounding chords and even some drop D stuff in that that's also on Unimi and I'm going to put a link to that below this video as well it's called 13 creepy creations for guitar by Mitch Smith and uh, so have fun with that and that is my lesson for this week keep jamming <laughs>